Hey everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial learning C Sharp using Windows Forms. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the basics of C Sharp. On the next pages I give you some more info regarding what are loops, for and for each loops, while and do while loops, using loops in Windows Forms. What are loops? Loops are a fundamental programming concept that allow you to execute a block of code repeatedly. They are used to simplify repetitive tasks, and to iterate over collections of data. There are several types of loops in C-sharp, including for loops, while loops, do while loops, and for each loops. Each type of loop has its own syntax and use cases. When using loops, it's important to avoid infinite loops, which occur when the loop condition is never met or when the loop never exits. This can cause your program to hang or crash, and can be difficult to debug. In addition to the loop itself, you may need to use other programming constructs inside the loop, such as if statements, switch statements, and break and continue statements. These can be used to control the flow of the loop or to modify the behavior of the loop based on certain conditions. Loops are often used in combination with arrays, lists, and other data structures to iterate over their contents. This can be useful for processing data or performing calculations on large sets of data. When designing loops, it's important to consider the efficiency and performance of the loop, especially if you're working with large data sets. In some cases, it may be possible to optimize the loop by using other techniques, such as parallel processing or caching. Finally, loops are a powerful tool in any programmer's toolkit, and it's important to master their use to become an effective programmer. By understanding the different types of loops and how to use them, you can write more efficient, effective code and tackle more complex programming challenges. For and for each loops. For loop. The for. Loop is used to repeat a block of code a fixed number of times. It is ideal when you know the exact number of times you want the loop to run. The syntax of the for loop is as follows. In the initializer, you can declare and initialize a loop counter variable. In the condition, you can specify the condition that must be met for the loop to continue. In the iterator, you can specify how the loop counter variable is incremented or decremented on each iteration. For each loop. The for each loop is used to iterate over elements in a collection. It is helpful when you want to iterate over all elements in a collection without using an index. The syntax of the for each loop is as follows. In this syntax, item is a variable that represents the current element in the collection. And collection is the collection being iterated while and do while loops. While loop. The while loop is used to repeat a block of code as long as a certain condition is met. It is helpful when you do not know the exact number of times the loop needs to run. The syntax of the while loop is as follows. Do while loop. The do while loop is similar to the while loop, but it always executes the loop at least once before checking the condition. The syntax of the do while loop is as follows. Using loops in Windows Forms. Now, let's see how we can use loops in Windows Forms applications. Suppose we have a list of items that we want to display in a list box control. We can use a loop to iterate over the list and add each item to the list box. The code would look like this. We can also use a loop to iterate over the controls in a form and perform certain actions on them. For example, we can disable all the buttons in a form using a loop. The code would look like this. In conclusion, loops are an essential part of programming and can be used in a variety of ways. In Windows Forms applications, loops can be used to iterate over lists and controls and perform various actions on them. Now let's start with the video. Learn C Sharp using Windows Forms, loops. We will cover the following points. Example of for and for each loops. Example of while and do while loops. And now enjoy the practical part of this video.
Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with ideas, wishes, or improvements for further content. If you like my videos, I would be happy about a like for the video. If you want to support me further and not miss any videos, just subscribe to my channel.